New Presentation Tool. The New Presentation Tool permits the user to create a presentation. This is a collection of pages that can interactively display the maps in a project with supporting descriptive text, images or videos. You are watching an ArcGIS Pro presentation exported to video, showcasing each of the types of pages available. The presentation started with a video page, the fluttering Union Jack, with subsequent pages showing text, maps and finishes with an image. Effectively, an ArcGIS Pro presentation is similar to a Microsoft PowerPoint presentation, but with a live link to any included maps. This means that if a map is updated, any associated pages displaying that map in an ArcGIS Pro presentation will also update. A presentation can be exported as a PDF, a folder of images or a video file. To create a new presentation, just click the New Presentation tool. Pages are added to a presentation by clicking the Insert Page button. Click one of the page types listed – Map, Plank, Image or Video. With Map, a map from the current project can be chosen. Using the default Extent Map view will add the map zoomed to the map's full extent. Subsequently altering the map's extent in the map view will not alter the map in the presentation. However, altering layer visibility will be reflected in the presentation. To control a map's extent when the default extent is not wanted, Zoom a map to the required extent and then create a named bookmark. Then add the map with that bookmark's name to the presentation. Properties for a presentation page can be set by right-clicking the page on the contents pane and choosing Properties. A map source map can be altered. Background, Transition and Advanced Page options exist for all page types. Background permits setting of background colour and page margins. Transition can be set to alter how the page appears within the presentation, with duration of transition set. Advanced Page sets whether the next page should be loaded automatically when the presentation is played. It defaults to off. Enable by ticking after, then set the time after which the next page will be shown. With blank, Choices include a completely blank page, a blank page with a title, or a blank page with a title and paragraph. Double click on text elements to edit them. Or right click and choose properties to open the element pane. The Text Symbol tab permits the font settings to be changed. Use the graphic handles to resize a text box. With Image, browse to the image file. The image will fill the page. Use properties to set margins to reduce the image size if required. Use an image page when an image needs to be displayed covering an entire page, 
or where it's to be used as a page background. A picture element is a better solution where an image is needed as part of a page, as will be shown in a moment. With the video, browse to the video file. Page properties for a video page includes video duration settings, allowing the user to alter the start and end time points for the video. As with an image page, use the margin settings to resize the video. Additional elements can be added to a page via the tools in the Elements group of the Insert tab. This includes different styles of text. Plus, the picture tool permits an image to be added to a page. Its size and position can be adjusted more easily than permitted by an image page. Pages in the presentation can be reordered via the Contents pane. To view the presentation, click the Full Screen tool on the Presentation tab. A presentation is saved with a project, and presentations are listed on the Catalogue pane under Presentations.